Consider a long cylindrical TO of inner and outer radii RI and RO respectively, length L and thermal conductivity K. Its inner and outer surface are maintained at TI and TO respectively where TI is greater than TO. Assuming one dimensional steady state heat conduction in the radial direction, okay, so this is important. The thermal resistance in the wall of the tube is, okay. So the thermal resistance when the heat transfer due to conduction take place in radial direction through the cylinder is given by, so let's first write here, thermal resistance, thermal resistance due to conduction in radial direction. Okay, and we are writing for cylindrical body. Okay, so this is given by R cylindrical is equal to R2 minus R1 divided by K times of AM. Okay, where AM is the mean area of radial heat conduction through the cylinder. Okay, and AM will be equal to 2 pi RM that is the mean radius into the length of the cylinder. Now RM the mean radius is given by R2 minus R1 divided by ln R2 by R1. Now using this RM and AM and if we substitute this in RC we will get RC is equal to R2 minus R1 divided by K times A, A is 2 pi Rm, now Rm we can write as R2 minus R1 divided by ln R2 by R1 okay into L, okay the length of cylinder. So we can cancel out R2 minus R1 from here. So this will be equal to 1 by 2 pi k into L ln R2 by R1. Now here R2 is the outer radius so RO and R1 is the inner radius so Ri. So this value will be Rc is equal to 1 by 2 pi k into L ln R naught by R i. Okay. So the correct option will be option C. 1 by 2 pi k l ln R naught by R i. For more information, you can refer to the NPTEL course lecture number 8. Concepts of thermal resistance on conduction and convection heat transfer by Professor S. K. Soam of the Department of Mechanical Engineering at IIT Kharagpur.